I already have a tutorial on futuristic gunshots, but in this one I want to focus on punchy single gunshots that you can use on their own, but also as a layer for more complex futuristic sound effects. And I think with this technique you can get a lot of interesting futuristic gun sounds and it can also result in really interesting other futuristic sounds. So for this technique we're gonna make use of comb filters once again. And let's just activate filter 1 down here and choose one of the comb filters. It doesn't really matter that much which one we choose. Put the resonance all the way up and then I want to create this movement. So I'm going to use LFO1 and just put this on the cutoff here and then change the shape to this. So just a simple ramp down. And also set this to envelope mode. And we're going to use this LFO to pretty much modulate everything that we modulate here. I'm also going to use the second filter and again choose one of the comb filters here and just put the resonance all the way up and create the same movement again. So like this. And now we can even go to the effects section and use this filter here as well and choose a different filter. I just put the resonance all the way up and again create the same movement. Now I also want to use this LFO for the global voice transpose so we have our pitch modulation as well and we can also put this all the way up. Now we can also use different effects here, so maybe a chorus that usually works for these types of sounds. And I just put LFO1 on the mix of this one with the same movements. Now the higher the pitch is, the more modulation we have, the more effects we have. And when the pitch goes down, we reduce the effects. We can also use a flanger on top of this. Use LFO1 and put this on the mix and do the exact same thing. <laughs> Now with the filters here we also have this cutoff here and as you can see with this we can modulate the filter as well. So we can also use LFO1 and put this here on the cut and maybe do the same for this one and see what it sounds like. Now we can actually also start just using different wavetables. Because of all the filtering we are doing the wavetables don't matter that much but we can be a bit more experimental for this kind of sound and just use maybe this one and just put LFO1 on the frame here so we are just cycling through the wavetable. You can also enable a second one and of course a third one if you want. Just use this one again same movement same LFO. We can also use one of these modes here. I usually like this one again because of all the filtering it's probably not going to be doing that much. We can also play around with the pitch of these two oscillators, maybe have them two octaves apart. And now we are actually going to get the gunshot sound that we want by just changing the shape of this LFO. We can also increase the level of these two oscillators. And so now we have a really punchy, futuristic sounding singular gunshot. And now of course you can go in and change the filters here, change the modulation on these filters, you can change the waveforms, you can add more effects or change the settings for the chorus or the flanger. Another interesting thing that you can do is, because we didn't use this parameter here for the first filter, we still can play around with this a bit more. So if you turn this all the way up, we get this sound. So now it's interesting to use a second LFO and use this on this and then just have a different shape here so we could say that we want to have this effect later in the sound so essentially in the tail and we can get this to be in the tail by bringing this LFO up when the other LFO is actually already going down roughly like this. Now we can create interesting tails with this. If we leave this in trigger mode we can also play around with creating something like this. And of course you can also do this with the other two filters and just see which one gives you the best effect. I can also make this sound wide by giving one of the two oscillators your voices, a bit of detune. And of course you can also just use a third oscillator and use this at a different pitch and just, you know, maybe change the character a little bit. But overall I think with this setup you can just get a lot of very punchy and clean sounding futuristic gunshots.